Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, this is Game Plays. I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So after my small vacations in Spain, like, it, it was only like three days but it they were awesome. I went to visit uh, an historical city called Rivadavia, uh, or Rivadavia, I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry. Uh, but it was really, really cool. And now I'm back again with the Adrenaline 22.2.3 drivers. And as I say in all my videos, write this down, all my videos. 22 is the year, 2022. Two is the month, February and three is the revision in that same month, so the third revision of February. But just before going to the release notes now, just don't forget that these drivers are still optional, okay? They are not beta drivers, but they are optional, meaning that they are not the recommended ones, and the recommended ones are still the 21.10.2. And that doesn't mean that, that the new drivers won't perform better, or that the new drivers have lots of bugs. It means that the 21.10.2 is the better driver overall for across all cards in terms of stability. And that's all because... For most cards, the new drivers are quite better and without any kinds of problems. Without any kind of problems, sorry. Uh, and if you're looking for a WHQL driver, but that isn't recommended, you actually have the 21, I mean the 22.1.2, which is actually also WHQL signed. Uh, it isn't recommended, but it is certified by Microsoft, okay? So if you want to use it, just go and use it. Now, as for the release notes, we have support for Elden Ring that was recently released. We have also Shadow Warrior 3, up to 5% increase in performance in Shadow Warrior 3. 4K high settings using Radeon Software Adrenaline 22.2.3 on the RX 6900 XT. Also up to 5% increase in performance in Shadow Warrior 3, 4K high settings, this time with the 6800 XT and up to 6% increase also at 4K high settings, now with the 6700 XT. We also have Grid Legends and we also have some performance increases, up to 7% increase in performance at 4K ultra high um, with the 6900 XT, up to 8% increase in performance at 4K ultra high settings, now with the 6800 XT, and up to 15% 4K ultra high settings with the 6700 XT. So basically that's it in terms of supports, and in terms of fixed issues we have zero. So we basically have two driver versions without any fixed issues. But that also leads me to believe that they are actually preparing for a huge driver update with the RSR, Radeon Super Resolution, to actually, for you to actually be able to use the Fidelity FX Super Resolution in any game, or at least in almost any game, which is awesome, and I suppose that they are actually saving the fixed issues for that huge driver update. I don't know if it is true or not, but it, it is just my two cents. I think that that is what will happen soon. I believe like around the 10 or 12th of March, something like that, we will have another update that will bring finally the RSR and maybe, maybe lots of fixed issues, okay? Now, in terms of bugs, experience and so on, well, I'm gonna tell you right away. For the RX 5000 series, I still think that the 21.11.2 are the best drivers, okay? If you are using, for example, a 5700 XT, if you are using a 5500 XT, and so on, so on, so on, 5600 XT, I think that the 21.11.2 or the 21.12.1 are the best drivers you can get. The 22.2.2 is fine, it is fine, but for example, in some cards like the 5500 XT, uh, it tends to, to be less stable in terms of overclocking, and it also tends to, to just randomly close the, the Radeon software from time to time. I, I don't really know why, but it does that, and that annoys me as hell. So, if you actually want to be with the, with the, five, with the 5000 series, sorry, 
just grab the 21.11.2 or grab for example these ones the 22.2.3 because from what I tested with my cards well not a single time randomly closing the software at least with the 5700 XT which is a good sign actually since the 22.2.2 is actually doing that randomly and the 22.2.3 isn't. In terms of performance I can just tell you that the 6700 XT and the 5700 XT are more or less the same in some games but in others it does increase the performance so the previous drivers actually decreased uh, the power draw in some case scenarios for example with the 6800 they decreased the power draw and the temperatures so the 22.2.2 were already pretty good for my 6800 and the 22.2.3 are still the same so they are way better than the previous drivers in my opinion as for the 6700 xt and elden ring and even cyberpunk well i guess the results speak for themselves and they are the 22.2.3 are pretty good drivers okay elden ring gets a bit more fps um and less power draw less temperatures and so on cyberpunk is more or less the same but a bit faster as well and with the 5700 xt we also get a bit more juice in some scenarios not all but in some scenarios so no bugs that i could see right away but in terms of performance it seems better than the previous driver so it is a win-win even forza horizon 5 got a bit more performance as well and it didn't get more performance since the 21.12.1 um, the so all the drivers from the 21.12.1 up to the 22.2.2 were having the same performance in Forza Horizon 5 at least with the 67 with the 5700 XT and now going to the 22.2.3 we actually have a bit more performance once again which is very good just to finish this video you guys that are using virtual reality so vr just let me tell just let me know in the comment section if vr is still broken in these drivers or not because i do not use vr and some people that use vr say that uh most driver versions are broken in this particular scenario so in this particular scenario of vr and i want to know if it is still broken here in these drivers or not Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. And well, see you in the next one and let's go to the side-by-side -side comparisons. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one once again.